NATO leaders, including the Prime Minister and US President Joe Biden, held crisis talks last night over Ukraine. They've warned Russia to abandon any plans to launch a lightning in Eastern Europe. I suppose the two questions this morning are how close are British troops to ever being involved? And is this just a big game of chess, really? Or is there a real chance of conflict? Warnings um, from both the UK and the US and NATO. I mean, will Vladimir Putin pay any attention? At least eight people have died in what's been described as a stampede outside a stadium in Cameroon before their Africa Cup of Nations match against Comoros. Uh, there were reports of a crush as people attempted. NHS is spending £50 million to provide an extra 350,000 dental appointments in evenings and on weekends. But dentists warn it will take years uh, to clear the backlog of NHS appointments lost in England because of COVID. Nithya Rajan has this report. They'll be taking part in this new scheme. Also this morning, head teachers have called on the government to release details. Sport and Claudio Ranieri has been sacked as Watford boss after less than four months in charge. Last Friday's 3-0 home defeat to Norwich saw them drop into the Premier League relegation zone. Ranieri. Apparently Norwich are yeah. terrible, that's why. <laughs> Norwich aren't even that good, she says. <laughs> Fighting. Look, in the last two games... ...whether with the public you lay down the law or whether you bring people along by persuasion. Yeah, yeah. And there was a big question, wasn't there, at the time, I think, about whether can you allow people to use their own judgment when you t give them all the facts or do we have to bring down the law? And I think it's that, isn't it, that I think inside number 10... But the rest of us weren't to be trusted with our own judgment. Absolutely right. Yeah. And I think it's almost, you know, that psychology of what groupthink is. I mean, that was the heart of all the lawmaking. Yeah. And they thought... How Good morning. NATO leaders in much at nine minutes past seven. Back to you. Ranveer, thank you. Launch a lightning invasion. Our chief correspondent of movement of, of military uh, back and forth. What does this mean for the inclusion of British troops if there were to be a conflict? At least eight people have died in what's been described as a stampede outside a stadium in Cameroon before the Africa Cup of Nations match against Comoros. Uh, there were reports of a crush as people attempted to make it. Through. Royal Mail has announced plans to... The NHS is spending £50 million to provide an extra 350 dental appointments in evenings and on weekends in a bid to reduce a backlog. But dentists themselves warn it will take years to clear the backlog of NHS appointments lost in England because of COVID. Nithya Rajan has this report. It's actually, but there you are. Um, what do the dentists there think about this scheme? Will those evenings and weekends make a difference? Also this morning, head teachers have called on the government act at Watford as their boss after less than four months in charge. Uh, last Friday's 3-0 home defeat to Norwich saw them drop into the relegation zone. Ranieri. Thanks. Crystal Palace, Norwich. <laughs> Watch out. Vieira's safe. <laughs> Watch out, Vieira. Vieira's a legend. Watch out, Vieira. 